Hi everybody, Dr. Anderson here. I'm here to talk to you about your restless legs and I'm about ready to go upstairs and do a procedure, surgical procedure on a patient that has restless legs. And I wanted to share this with you. I just threw this up uh, on this board real quick to share this with you because this patient said to me as we were getting ready to put her into the operating room uh, that she was told by her family doctor that she has uh, nervousness. It's just anxiety. That's why she has a restless legs. And I'm here to tell you that is absolutely not true. This is something that's real. It's mechanical. It's not metabolic. It's mechanical. And this shows you it's mechanical. What I'm going to share with you in just a minute is data from the second study that we're going to publish. And this is data showing that objectively your nerves are damaged when you have restless legs. And this is from a population of people. It's not one patient. It's the average result of nerve improvement that we're seeing when we do surgery on people's legs that have restless legs. So let me explain what this means. This is a graph of before, the blue bars are the before values, and then the, the this colored bar, the kind of the golden colored bar, is the after uh, results of patients. And this is one muscle group, peroneus longus muscle group, and then tibialis anterior muscle group. Again, blue bar is before, and this bar is the after. So what we did was we stimulated this specific nerve branch with electrical impulse, and we would see how much energy went into the muscles that that nerve supplies, record it, that's this number, and average it. And then we did the same thing after that nerve tunnel had been opened to get rid of pressure on the nerve. That's why I call this restless legs compression syndrome. I think that's a new way we should describe it. And so this is the after results, before and after. And then same thing with another different muscle group supplied by that same nerve branch. So this is objective intraoperative EMG testing that we did to show you the, and other doctors out there, out there that this is really a mechanical issue. It's not necessarily all about dopamine. It's not necessarily all about magnesium and iron. It's mechanical. The problem can begin and it can end in the legs. And God willing, we're going to go upstairs and help one more patient see that this is very reversible. So if you're watching this for the first time, look at some of the other YouTube videos. I give you a lot of testimonials to look at of people that have had great success reversing their restless legs. And hope we're going to change the tide of this so that you that are listening out there can get your sleep back. You might want to read my book like many people are starting to do called A Perfect Night's Sleep. You can look that up on Amazon. It explains how in the world the podiatrist became kind of on the, became the pioneer of doing this on patients and doing the research to back up what we do. So please subscribe to our YouTube channel and also consider liking us. And there's lots of information Please research this so that you're comfortable with this whole idea that it doesn't have to be a problem that's medicated, that there is a way to get you off the drugs and, or help you avoid getting on drugs that you're taking for your restless legs. So thank you for watching.